Good morning everyone, we are the group 2. This video presentation is for the subject Science, Technology and Society. Our group discusses and presents about genetically modified organisms, science, health and politics. Our topic objectives are Understanding the relationship of GMO to society, environment and health. Provide accurate and relevant information about genetically modified organisms. Demonstrate a greater understanding of the link between GMOs and human health. Consistently achieve unexpected and inventive breakthrough as well as new medical treatments. Discuss the impact of genetically modified organisms as well as the implications of in the future. Mga patatas na kasing laki ng basketball. Mga butil ng bigas na doble ang laki. Yan ang tinatawag na mga genetically modified organism o GMO. Noong Mayo, ipinatigil ng Court of Appeals ang scientific field test ng pagtatanim ng BT talong, isang genetically modified organism sa UP Los Baños. Pagkabat sinabi ng FDA na ligtas kainin ang mga pagkaing genetically modified, lalo na... Good day everyone, we are the team 2 and the topics that are assigned to us is genetically modified organisms, science, health, and politics. Before the GMO, humans use traditional modification, conventional methods of modifying plants, animals. They call this as selective breeding and crossbreeding. It takes long time ago. But moreover, in selective breeding and crossbreeding, they often produce mixed results with unwanted traits appearing alongside the desired characteristics. So the specific target modification of DNA using biotechnology has allowed scientists to avoid this problem and improve the genetic makeup of an organism without unwanted characteristics tagging along. So, uh, during 1970s, scientists and biochemists uh, Mr. Herbert Boyen and Mr. Stanley Cohen developed genetically engineering which has greatly used until today. Genetically modified organisms or simply GMO are used to produce crops in a short period of time. So before, when we produce uh, crops, it takes long time ago before they have the final product. But now using the GMO, they can produce a product even in a short span of time. Since scientists and biochemists discovered GMO, most of, of the foods that we eat today are product of GMO. These foods and are tested and approved to consume by the consumer. While animals are used as a testing model to study the function of a specific genes and typically how it's related to health and diseases. So this report will give the information about GMOs and how it affects our society, environment, and health. This also gives the implications or results and the impact on it in our future. Implications of GMO and its potential future impacts. Today, approximately 90% of the corn, soybeans, and sugar beets on the markets are product of GMOs. Genetically engineered crops produce higher yields because GMOs products are used or produced in a short span of time. It also have a longer shelf life and it is resistant to pesticides and diseases and it is even tastes better compared to other products which is do not undergo a GMO. These benefits that are said a while ago are a plus factor for both consumers and farmers. So far, none of the GMOs approved for consumption have caused any of these problems. And in fact, GMO food sources are subject to regulation and rigorously and safety assessments. In the future, GMOs are likely to continue playing an important role in biomedical research. GMO, GMO foods may provide better nutrition and perhaps even be engineered to contain medicinal compounds to enhance human health. If GMOs can be shown to be both safe and helpful, consumer resistance to these products will most likely be diminished because GMOs are fragile or it is not successful. So, good morning everyone. I am Angelica Josh Imanipis and the topic that is assigned to me is about interrelated of GMO to society. So, manaki ang natutulong ng GMO sa ating society bukod sa pagpaprovide and pagpaproduce ng healthy and safety products or foods. 
isa din to sa nagiging way kung paano natin nakoconserve ang natural resources. So, Cecilia Chiham, Director of Science and Technology at PIPRA, provides how GMO impact to society. It provides six ways on how GMO impact society. So, the first is GMO provide economic benefits to millions of consumers. So, dito, mas nagbe-benefit yung consumer. Dahil sa paggamit ng GMO, mas nalilesan yung price ng mga product. Then, second is GMO reduce agricultural-related greenhouse gas emission. Dito naman, mas nababawasan natin yung paggamit ng mga tractor. And sa pagbawas ng mga tractor, mas nalilesan din yung pag-consume ng fuel. And also, it avoid greenhouse effect that can cause global warming. The third is GMO reduce soil erosion. GMO helps to reduce soil erosion. And para ma-reduce ang soil erosion, Florida farmer Lawson mostly explained that herbicide tolerant crops can help reduce soil erosion. Makakatulong ang herbicide crops to protect the soil and to kill and control the surrounding weeds. So, the next is GMO conserve water. GMO also help to conserve water. In reducing soil erosion, they used herbicide tolerance crops while in conserving water, they used drought tolerance. It maintains the biomass production during arid and drought conditions. So, the fifth is GMO substantially decrease the use of many agricultural chemicals. Dito naman, mas bumababa yung mga products na ginagamitan ng chemicals kaya mas nakakapag-produce and provide ng mga safe and healthy products. Then, the last is GMO technology also has potential to improve the lives of million in the developing world. So, dito naman, we are now living in a generation that technology have a big part in our lives or big role in our lives. So by the use of technology, it also help to improve the way of producing product and it makes the process easier. And it also improve the productivity of the agriculture. Interrelatedness of GMO or genetically modified organism to environment. Assessing the environmental impact of GMO is often difficult as many factors are considered. Some scientists focus on the potential risk of GMO while others emphasize their potential benefits. Although the global debate of GMO is usually allied, Desperate group concerned about food safety and the environment. Environmental risks are precisely to differ from food safety risks in several ways. Experience build up two decades of environmental impact. Study suggests that the impact of new biological elements in the ecosystem may take years or decades to be understood. Advantage of GMO or genetically modified organism to environment. Some benefits of genetic engineering in agriculture are increased crop yield, reduced costs for food or drug production, reduced need for pesticide, and less nutrient composition and food quality, resistant to pests and disease, greater food security, and medical benefits to the world growing population. Disadvantage of genetically modified organism or GMO to environment. Biodiversity loss is one of the disadvantage of GMO to the use of the, some GMO can have negative impact on non-target organism and on soil and water ecosystem. For example, the expansion of GMO herbicide tolerant corn and soy which are twinned with herbicide have destroyed much of the habitat of the monarch butterfly in North America. Genetically modified organisms are a relatively new technology and as with everything new, there are differing perspectives on a variety of issues concerning their use. So the questions of whether these GMO plants and the foods that contain them are safe to eat is one has gotten a lot of attention. 
So there is no that uh, there is no evidence that GMO eating is harmful to the human health. So what evidence do we have? So based on my research, GMOs have been subjected to more rigorous. So rigorous means accurate, the testing that any other group of plants we consume. So GMOs differs from from ordinary plants nearly always by the insertion of one or two genes that create one or two novel proteins. So these proteins, origins, and functions are well established. So the proteins, for example, are examined to ensure that they lack and any features that could lead to allergic reactions. So a vast number of respected health and research institutions from around the world have come to the same conclusion. So furthermore, in the two decades that GMOs has been on the market, no health problems arisen as a result of genetically modified organisms. Ethics and implication of GMO and potential future impact. Many concerns exist around the use of GMOs because industry is not yet highly regulated. Even if you are aware of GMOs in your food, it can be difficult to know what genetic materials has been used to produce the food. This means consumers may be less familiar with the possibility side effects such as toxic effect and unexpected allergic reactions from consuming newly created substances. Fortunately, the long-term effects of GMOs on humans' health are not yet known, but there have been some animal research studies. Each gene may control several different traits in a single organism. Even the insertion of a single gene can impact the entire genome of the host resulting in unintended side effects, all of which may not be recognizable at the same time it is difficult to predict what type of risk. Here are some examples of five types of risk and implication of GMO to future impact. Genetic contamination interbreeding. Introduced GMO may interbreed with a wild type or sexually compatible to relatives. The novel trait may disappear in wild types unless it confers a selective advantage to the recipient. However, tolerant abilities of wild types may also develop altering the native species' ecological relationship and behavior. Competition with natural species Faster growth of GMOs can enable them to have a competitive advantage over the native organisms. They may allow them to become invasive to spread into new habitats and cause ecological and economic damage. Increased selection pressure on target and non-target organisms Pressure may increase on target and non-target species to adapt to the introduced changes as if to a geological change or a natural selection pressure causing them to involve distinct resistance population. The next one is ecosystem impact. The effect of changes in a single species may extend well beyond to ecosystem. Single impact are always joined by the risk of ecosystem damage and destruction. The last one is impossibility of follow-up. Once the GMO have been introduced into the environment and some problems arise, it is impossible to eliminate them. Many of these risks are identically to those incurred with regards to the introduction of natural or conventionally bred species. But still, this does not suggest that GMO are safe or beneficial or that they should be less scrutinized. And for our conclusion, genetically modified organisms bring a big impact in our lives today. The food that we eat are a product of GMO. In terms of health, GMO are safe to digest. Many studies prove that consumption of GMO products are not harmful in our health. There are also advantages and disadvantages in using GMO. The advantage are reduced use of pesticides and other toxic chemicals. Desired characteristics of food are achieved in a shorter time. Improved nutritional value, many people rely on GM food for medicines and gym technology is the best solution to the problem of world hunger. Once again, we are the group 2 and thank you for listening. Have a nice day.